Hi, and welcome to the second part of a uh, little screencast series. The first part was about installing PHP tools to Visual Studio 2013. And now, logically, I have installed it. For those who haven't seen um, the other part, it's uh, vis visible in extensions and updates. Uh, here you see PHP tools from DevSense. It's the vendor which provides this uh, cool tool. DevSense is very busy in updating everything and they just shipped uh, the extension for Visual Studio 2013, so it's nicely integrated in everything. And what I want to show you now is um, how it feels to develop PHP with this extension in Visual Studio. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new project and uh, I've just selected uh, PHP here in the template section. It's coming from DevSense during the installation and I just choose web project uh, and I leave the default and hit OK and we are ready to go. This is a template from um, DevSense um, which uh, brings the uh, all known uh, structure of projects to Visual Studio. Um, you see that um, PHP files have a known, uh, you know, handler inside of uh, uh, the DevSense extension, so everything is well integrated. You have uh, properties inside um, of the project, and you can specify, for instance, which page uh, should come up if you hit F5, or how to debug this. Uh, debugging is a little bit um, covered in the installation tutorial, but I'll just hit F5 now to show you what comes up here. Okay, let's do it. Uh, first of all, a debugger comes up, which is integrated into IIS Express in the default settings and is um, connecting to a module called xDebug, which is uh, um, open source integration of debugging into PHP. And you see that Hello World comes up and you are able to just edit something uh, for for example e equals 10 and just uh, give out e save this go and hit a 5 and now you see it's it's live and you see here in the URL that um, uh, PHP tools is telling the debugger that the session with this ID should start so Visual Studio is connected to the debugger which we can see here I hit a breakpoint and just hit a 5 here, just let me uh, dog it on the right and hit a 5 and you see, oh yeah, it's coming and uh, you have, you know, this uh, variable hovering, you have um, the autos window and the locals window and um, you have the availability, uh, availability to just do some stuff that you are used to do with C Sharp. For example, QuickWatch is available not only for variables but also for terms. Just let me show this to you. Just hit stop and do something like that. Whoa, var, yeah, I'm doing JavaScript a little bit. Uh, sample equals to str underline re. So, first of all you see IntelliSense is working uh, during um, typing something, str replace, and it's um, showing you uh, method variables, uh, parameters too. The, even you see it here, the um, optional ones, they are marked with, uh, you know, those braces. Okay, so we can go ahead and say search for H replaces with P in the world hello. Okay, just hit a breakpoint here, start this. Now, Internet Explorer comes up in the background, that's okay. And now we want to know what will be here the result of this term. So we mark it, right click it and go to quick watch and we will see the result here of the term. Here's the term, here it is and the result will be Pello. And just hit F F11 to go one step further and yes Pello is the result and yes we can hit this lens and you know do what we are used to do. That's cool. Um, just let me close those windows. So 
This is very nice. The second one, which is very cool, is um, go to definition is completely um, supported even on uh, system functions like str replace. If I hit F12 or go right click, go to definition, this happens. Uh, this is not code inside actually, but see it here, function body is hidden because this comes from uh, the metadata um, that PHP tools uh, brings in and it's very cool because we see you know the uh, signature and the um, the uh, PHP doc commands on this method how they are stored in PHP itself so this is very cool and logically it works in our own functions too foo okay let's go ahead and do something like this, return 10, okay, and just call foo here, j, uh, j is German, j equals foo, okay, and now right click, go to definition, there it is, or F12 works uh, the same way. What's not supported is um, peak definition, new feature in uh, 2013 and code lands is also not supported. I have to say yet. Let's see what DevSense will do. Maybe they integrate it later on. Uh, those files, um, as I show here, they are very simple and uh, since a few versions PHP tools is able to handle mixed files too. What I mean uh, with mixed files is something like that. Okay, let's say i equals 10, something simple, and now we go to HTML. First of all, you see we have a file with the ending PHP, which is uh, handled by PHP tools, um, but they integrated the HTML and JavaScript support now, so we can do something like that. See, completion, everything is okay, body, and now let's say um, we do an H1, uh, with test and the P and here we want to integrate some PHP very what's going on very simple echo I okay let's do this and now we see 10 here okay and let's see if we can hit a breakpoint inside of HTML yes we can this is very 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 cool um, um, I, I just can't say it um, enough because um, I don't know any tool which makes it so easy to um, code PHP. Okay, that's that's with the studio and the editor um, too, but you have to write a library or extension like PHP tools the right way to integrate it this cool into Visual Studio. Now we get Visual Studio for PHP, which is very cool. We get the whole infrastructure and we get um, debugging out of out of the box. And now there's no reason to develop PHP uh, outside of Visual Studio. It's, it's very, very cool. Um, so uh, let's go on with this and just say, okay, let's uh, integrate it into a team project. Is this possible? Yes, it is. It's possible because PHP tools uses the um, format of solution and project um, like Visual Studio uh, does it with its own project so everything is nice integrated and we go uh, into the Team Explorer and just um, have the options to use Git or Team Foundation. I just select a team project, server, add, I just have to add him. Uh, just a second. Oh, yes, just let me uh, sign in, okay, here it is, test collection, let's go to PHP tests, connect, and let's take a look what's inside the source code explorer, here you have PHP tests, and you see here's some um, library, and I just will map this, get latest, to show you that everything is okay. Okay, it's mapped to a folder. And now 
let's open up, for example, this one. A base lib, here's a PHP project. Okay, and here is the solution. So we can open the solution. Just see some sample code. Oh, here's an error. Yes. Just go inside and just take a look at the structure. Just a second. Here it is. So, we have, for example, here a, a normal modeling project inside a normal PHP, sol in, inside a solution. It's not a PHP solution, it's a, it's a default solution of Visual Studio. I have a UML modeling project, which I can use be, um, beside the um, my PHP projects. I have solution folders. I have here a base lib, which is um, used as a basic library for uh, common features like, let's say, or oh, util connection manager, what is it? Now here you see a class, you see public static functions which are supported, uh, you see uh, something like um, connection management, which I wrote for some, some tools, daytime utils, here static functions on daytime utils. And now I'm able to just program in a very cool way, even using, using um, comments and stuff like that. It's very, very cool uh, to do this. Um, yes, uh, TFS integration uh, is this. Then we have class view support. Like I said, this is uh, the solution I just loaded is uh, full of classes and um, they integrated, DevSense integrated uh, even a class view for this. Let's go to Baselib. Namespaces are supported uh, by PHP but are ported to Visual Studio, uh, so to say. And here you see my Baselib and you see all the classes, the interfaces, everything is there. Looks like a normal <laughs> C-sharp project from here on and you go double click and it's connected. Um, Everything works like it should be. Uh, now, uh, what's what's also important is um, if you use something like uh, libs, like I do, you will re you you will want to reuse those libs. Uh, so first of all, in most cases, you want to publish. Uh, this this is supported by uh, PHP tools. Let's go on this one and say r right click and publish. They bring in the the all-known publishing dialog and now you can just uh, see here's an XAMPP profile I made. So let's make a new one and say test. So what's available? We can use file system FTP and SFTP. Um, web deploy is not uh, not available, uh, which is logical because web deploy is very specific to to iOS. FTP, I, I use file system internally and go to a network share to deploy uh, other stuff which is uh, very cool is FTP on web projects lo logically. Uh, SFTP is even supported. Here you have um, things like how should it deploy and you can go to certain files, no, to certain file, files and in the properties of each file you can set if it's going to be published or not which is very, very important on configuration files. This uh, common uh, thing, we all know the dot, uh, .inc .php files, which I, in most cases, don't want to publish to the production server. And so I hit, uh, I, I make them unpublishable and that's okay. Very good, very well done. Uh, what else can I say? Uh, we are just, as you can see, we are just developing all our PHP stuff here inside of uh, Visual Studio. There are some limitations. Um, first of all, PHP uh, per se is uh, something which is very triggered by um, the open source community. Uh, that's not a good point in every time. Um, but it means that um, some certain tools like PHP doc, like um, uh, additional extensions you can have for PHP, uh, something like that. This is um, uh, not supported directly by PHP tools. You have to set up those things by your own. Um, but 
the development uh, inside of Visual Studio. That's what was missing before of PHP tools and uh, there were certain tools like, you know, a little bit IntelliSense here and a little bit, um, I don't know, publishing there, but not this whole package uh, integrated so nicely as it is here. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, show you the basic stuff, how it feels uh, to, to write code in PHP, that it is well integrated into Visual Studio. I hope uh, I got the key points and uh, just go to DevSense and uh, buy your own license. It's not so expensive, which um, I, I'm using a trial here, a 30 days trial. Uh, it's about, let's go to DevSense and uh, go to the pricing so you can see it from the current state. You have products and PHP tools for Visual Studio and you go to pricing and buy and you see if you go for a personal license, it's just about 79 bucks and for one year and then 49 for the renewal or for professional license we did it for our company here it's 194 uh, and 98 uh, for the renewal and it's available for all you know common visual studios and uh, one thing um, I have all, all also to mention is that the team is very very quick and cool in um, deploying uh, fast upgrades, they are listening to the community. I just, for for instance, I just posted a question for some weird situation I had and just two days later on I got an email to my private email address and uh, a developer just informed me that an alpha version was provided um, for this reason and I could check it out and that's very cool, that's what I need. Just go ahead and uh, take a look at this and okay. See you. Bye.